Virgo. Hi, welcome back to Sedaris LLC. I'm B, and I'm glad you're here. Happy, happy birthday, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed your birthday. If it's today on September 21st or any other day in Virgo season, you know, we celebrate all season, right? Um, so happy birthday to you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed yourself and I hope that you at least can make it like the greatest birthday ever. Like for me, I've been on my spiritual path. I've been letting go of a lot of different people. And so I spent my birthday a little bit in solitude this year, but the, the crazy thing is, is like I was, I enjoyed it. It's the most peaceful birthday I've ever had where I wasn't trying to please anyone else by putting myself in uncomfortable situations. And I was like, I could get used to this. I sure could. Anyway, happy birthday, Virgo. Let's get into your reading. But first, I wanted to let you know what I heard Claire audiently. So what I got was names. It sounded like names. John Tasha. John Tasha? It sounded like a word, John Tasha. But I couldn't find anything on that. So I was like, John and Tasha? Or is, it could be a name, John Tasha. And then after that, I heard Malia Malima. Malia Malima. And after doing some research on that, it seems like Malia means either sea of bitterness or loved and beloved. And Malima means instructor. And I believe that was in an in ancient Indian language, um, which I can't remember the name of the language right now, Marathi. Um, so yeah, beloved instructor. Some of you may be teachers. Um, and I'm not sure what Jantasha means, but we're gonna see what else is going on with your reading right now and just see if it connects at all. And, and if not, it might mean something to you on its own. All right, because those messages are so different for me, I'm gonna just start off with the Ancestor Oracle for you guys, Virgo. Let's really see what the ancestors have to say about this. If I can just get this card out of here. Okay. Hopefully it wasn't the sea of bitterness interpretation for any of you. I don't think it was. I didn't get that feeling. All right. What does the collective sign of Virgo need to know? God, with your permission, I delve into the energies with my spirit team surrounding me, filtering away any negative energy as I tap into the energy for the collective sign of Virgo on my YouTube channel. What do they need to know from this deck? Ancestors and spirit guides. What do they need to know? Whoa, come on. All right, what do we got here? Okay. How can we help? We are ready to assist as needed. Just be clear about what you really need at this time, okay? So your ancestors are inviting you to communicate with them, your spirit guides as well. You can do this through prayer. You can do this through prayer. When you're praying to God, you can also, you know, just give a shout out to your spirit team. Whatever you really need inside, like spiritually, don't be afraid to ask them for it. Even what you're, you need materially. So I think this is a reminder to you that they're actually there for you to work on your behalf. What else do we have? Your root chakra is off. Reground yourself by dancing and meditating more so you're balanced. Dancing is a beautiful energy to be in. Dan and it's a great exercise too. It's a great form of exercise. If you just pick up some dancing, turn on some music you love and get into a really high vibration, um, your spirit team is saying that's a good thing for you to do right now. So get grounded, meditate. There's a need for you to get balanced. Okay, Virgo? Hmm. At the bottom, we have lean into your abundance. Be proud, you've earned it. Let's see, anything else wanna come out from, yep, yes it did. Hold on one second. <laughs> what do we have here? 
Yep, here it is again. Balance is needed. Meditate more. Go outside and experience nature. So there's a big pull for you to ground right now. Let me fix my top. You need to get grounded, Virgo. Especially as we shift out of Virgo season, we're moving into Libra season, that indecisive season that doesn't work well for Virgos, okay, depending on where your placement is. So get grounded, blue things. Let's see what else is going on. Oh yeah, there's healing still. It's okay if it still hurts. Cry and release all that pain. Don't let it sit inside and fester. Release it so that you can restore that space with healed energy. And the full moon just passed. I was telling Taurus, um, the energy is still here for the full moon. The, the moon is still in that phase, basically. So feel free to still take advantage of that manifestation energy. But when you manifest, you need to be doing it from a good place. You don't want to manifest when you're not feeling well. Because you can't fool the universe. You can't fool God. He's going to know that you're not in a good energy. So you can't be manifesting like, I welcome abundance into my life. When your heart is feeling really, really sad, you're going to attract with your energy sadness, more things that will match the way you already feel. So what you want to do Take that advice from your spirit team, get into your good energy, dance, meditate, exercise, whatever grounds you, and then get to manifesting. And it doesn't have to be the full moon that you manifest on. Truly, the moon is always full where it sits. It just changes how we see it, you know, depending on where it is in rotation. But you can always feel free to go, go to your spirit team, go to God in prayer and manifest always. But you wanna make sure you're doing it with a good energy in your heart and soul, okay? So now let's move over to her everyday oracle. Let's see what we have from there. Okay, let's see. Do that thing that inspires you and makes you feel like you're living life. I think this is connected to your getting grounded. Let's see what else wants to come up. I wonder why is there such a need to ground? It could just be the healing. It could be something else on the way. Oh, there's something else on the way. <laughs> Get ready, love is coming your way. Taurus had a love energy as well. Somebody's crushing on Taurus. It says, work your magic. Ooh, what's happening, Virgo? OMG. At the bottom, we have walk in confidence knowing God works through you and that you're divinely guided. Yes, yes, yes. Know it because it's true. You know it's true. All right, so now we're gonna get into the tarot, having that information with us. Sorry, I ordered some food. I wanna see where it is. I feel bad because it's raining and this guy's on a bike. Of course he would be on a bike to make it just that much worse. I might have to pause this because it says he's gonna be here in one minute. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm so glad he's working though. I feel so bad. I hope that he's got on some like warm clothes and a parka or something. All right, what's happening for the Virgo gang? Rest of September, what's happening for the Virgo gang? Duration of September, we're at the 21st now. This will be until the 31st. Or is it the 30th? I think it's still the 30th. Starting out with the star. Let's see, we got the star, we got the page of cups. Oh no. The chariot, the fool. Somebody's determined to have a new beginning in something. Amen. Ooh, conflicting energy. 
Ace of Pentacles. I like that. You got the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Oh. <laughs> I said, oops, upside the head. King of Cups reversed. Uh oh, that's narcissist energy. Then we have the judgment. Hmm. And finally, the tower, okay, which was an 11th card. I didn't mean to pull an 11th card. Yet there it is. Isn't that how it goes with the tower? I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, I'm going to have to meet this man at the door. Just give me a moment. All right, thank you guys. Sorry about that. So we have overall energy, the three of wands. So you've been building something, you've been putting in work. I'm gonna put in work and you're starting to see the fruits of your labor, starting. Starting to see like the results that this could, could grow into something really, really beneficial for you. Beginning with the star and the page of cups, and the chariot, there could be someone who wants to come towards you. They see you as a star. They see you as like beautiful, intelligent, kind of like the whole package. And so they're determined to come toward you. Like they're thinking it's a new beginning. They're on their way. But then they stop. Conflicting energy with the hangman there. So it's like for some reason they're thinking about this. And what's so weird is that Taurus had that energy, like Mr. Sheffield where they're hesitant. They know they want something, but they're holding back. And so they may be holding back or somebody, this is not necessarily a Taurus you're dealing with, but somebody is in that energy with regard to you, Virgo, or vice versa. They're thinking about coming toward you. They see you as an opportunity, but not in a negative way. Ace of Pentacles, some kind of new venture. This could be something really fruitful when it comes to business something very promising, some new beginning. Knight of Pentacles, it's something that's been very slow, slow burn, but it's something that's gonna lead to your wish fulfillment. So yeah, it looks like all signs are saying, go ahead, continue to work toward this thing that's got you in the Three of Wands energy, working towards your goals. And then here, all of a sudden, it shifts from all these beautiful positive cards to the King of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, the deep, deep waters. In reverse, the King of Cups is not good, just like most reverse court cards. It's like somebody who is in a manipulative, really manipulative energy for, you know, bad intentions. But for whoever that person is, they might have thought they were having wish fulfillment and doing this manipulation but the judgment is here. So the feeling I'm getting with the judgment is that somebody else can see what this person is doing. Somebody else has caught on or has been catching on and has been watching whatever manipulation that this King of Cups in reverse has been doing. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, not necessarily somebody who is a sun sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but just somebody who's in that energy. Yeah, so they're not going to be able to get away with whatever this is for much longer. But let's get some information on what that is. Who is this King of Cups in reverse, please? Who is this King of Cups in reverse? Two of Swords in reverse. So some of you may already know who it is. Could be somebody who's extremely indecisive as well because of the two of swords in reverse it's like somebody who's refusing to make a decision and it's not because they can't it's just they're refusing like upright it'd be a matter of oh i don't really want to decide I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place and i'm hearing your love in a hard place so somebody might have been trying to decide between you and someone else oh and trying to juggle multiple people no nah. so something's about to get found out there but in reverse, it's somebody who's just like refusing to make a decision. They're digging their heels in the ground. I feel like it's, there's an indecision that's like messing with someone at this point because they refuse to make a decision. You can only do that for so long before the sun comes out. 
clarity, truth, like something is going to be revealed. Could be dealing with a Leo or just have it in your chart. The love us. Yeah, someone's finally made a choice. What is this choice regarding? Concerning my Virgos, what is this choice regarding? The world and the three of swords. They're deciding on um, who's hard to break, who to stick with. I feel like there is somebody, probably a masculine energy I'm feeling right now. Now that could be man or woman, but this person is deciding. I feel like it's a man though, but they're deciding like, this is the person I want. Yeah, the one that I want. And they're leaving somebody else behind. Now, if it's not about love for you, then apply it how it fits. Or if it doesn't fit, then just please let it go because you don't want to confuse yourself trying to make something fit that doesn't. You will be driving yourself crazy, okay? But I feel like this is somebody who's deciding now, like, I know who I want and I'm gonna have to break somebody else's heart. But the thing is, this person was manipulative. So if they're coming towards you, Virgo, you may not even want their offer because you already know the truth. Like you already know this person's been playing around and it could be a Leo. You think this person's been playing around. You might've already known they were juggling and you took yourself out of the equation. But now they wanna come back around. May I get one on the fool, please here? The fool and the hangman. Ordered some Japanese food. I'm so excited to get into that. Oh my goodness. King crab sashimi. Here I come. Strength. So clarifying the fool and the hangman, we have strength. So whatever this is, like if this person comes back around, you could be the person doing this, like, but I feel like you're the person on the receiving end. They're going to be coming around to make amends with you, maybe to apologize or to tell you something, and you're going to need to be strong for whatever reason. Is this somebody that my Virgos even really care about? Yeah, they want to work on something with you. They want to start taking something seriously with you and building, um, you know, going forward. They want to build with you. How did my Virgos feel about this person? The Empress? Is this somebody you felt like you had to baby? You know, the Empress is a motherly energy. So this could be someone you felt like always needed a lot of attention or they just needed coddling or maybe you were like, this could be a mama's boy or a situation like that where they were always too dependent on someone else. And I'm hearing man up, like man up in my head. So, hmm, that might ring a bell for some of you. But it is somebody that you cared about, Ten of Cups. It's somebody that you might have thought you might have thought you really had a future with at one point. Like you were really for this person at one time and you thought you guys would have this happy family dynamic one day, or maybe you did and they messed it up. It'll be different for different people. Okay, just over the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups fell. Oh, so I feel like when you walked away from whatever this is, Virgo, you felt good. I mean, it wasn't easy to do because the Eight of Cups is not in, there's my elder millennial bedroom timer. Anyway, you stepped into your own abundance, like your true self leaving this person. I feel like you, you're feeling good without this person. And guess what? They're watching, of course. They're studying you. They're trying to figure out what you have going on now, whoever this is. Can we get a clue about who this is? Who is this for Virgo? Besides somebody that might have needed a bit of coddling. Somebody who was indecisive. Somebody who might have been a mama's boy or a papa's girl or something like that. Let's see. We got three cards. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Nine of Swords. Okay, so what I feel from this is like they were, mm, I feel like this person might have been somebody who was a bit 
arrogant or maybe they care a lot about their public image like they care more about their public image than the true connection that you guys had so they would act one way in public about you but then in private it was tearing them up inside Oh Lord, I'm hearing a candy babe. Can't stand that song or the singer. Not even gonna say his name. But yeah, this is somebody who was like working to act as though you didn't matter. But behind closed doors, you matter a lot to them. They care a lot about you, but they have not gone about this in a very good way. This has been very unwise on this person's part. So I feel like this is somebody you already know. Yeah, and you don't trust this person. They wanted to keep you on the low. Maybe they wanted you to be a secret boo. Maybe you wanted that, maybe you wanted that. There's something secret about the situation or there, there might've been some sort of betrayal. What are the intentions of this person toward my Virgos? What are the intentions now of this person toward my Virgos? Secrets! They're still on some BS. They're still keeping things from you. Maybe they have a surprise for you, but that's so secondary because I feel like it's they're just keeping secrets still. And they feel bad about that. I'm sensing they do feel bad about it. I'm hearing baby face in my head. I only want to be with you, but they're still lying. What's holding this person back? What is this person lying about? The emperor, they're lying about. Oh, okay. They just wanna control you. So they do miss you, but it's not really loving. It's not like, I'm not sensing it's out of love. I'm sensing this person misses having access to you so they can control different aspects of your life. Maybe control your public image. Yeah, they're always gonna be deciding between you and somebody else. That indecisive nature has not changed. The secrets haven't changed. They miss having control over you. They miss you being their little puppy dog is what I'm feeling. They, they miss you being there. So this is somebody that in the past when you were thinking that they were a part of your Ten of Cups, they were thinking you'd always be there and they thought they just had you in the bag and that would be that forever. But there's new love coming your way, right? We started in the beginning with, there's love coming your way. This is not love. This is somebody who is masking, controlling behavior with loving energy, but it's not true. The moon came out for their intentions and they could be dealing with someone else in the fire energy, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could be embodying this Queen of Wands energy and you're like, I ain't got time for nobody's BS. Unless you're coming back with the real, I don't have time. What else came out here? Yep, Eight of Swords reversed. You're not in mental conflict about it anymore. You're ready to move on. You are looking forward to whatever new beginnings you have. You're getting into your creative energy, Virgo. And that's, it seems like that's where you should be because that's what's bringing you new beginnings. That's what's bringing you the full energy and the eight of swords reverse, not being mentally entrapped. If Virgo, hold on one second, what else was this? Ace of cups, yeah, they want a new beginning, but there's new love coming for you separate from this old energy. Don't be afraid to get in the queen of swords energy, whether you're male or female and cut out what doesn't belong. Okay, and I forgot the question I was gonna ask, so maybe I shouldn't have asked it anyway. I was I was starting to get a little nosy. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else my Virgos need to know about this situation? Can they know anything about the new love that's coming? <laughs> Basically, no, that's a no. But some of you may also be spiritualists. Um, so you may have an intuition, you may feel like you feel like this person from the past might be trying to come back to you with some BS. 
and about the new person, you just know that there's something new on the way, but we're not getting any clues. But the good news is it looks like it, it'll be someone who will either give you a gift, that'll be an indicator for you, they'll give you a gift, or it'll just be a better balance of give and take. Nine of Wands, okay, so what's up with that? Why did the Nine of Wands just come out? Three of Cups. Okay, so this new person might be on some bullshit too, just FYI. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like that. Why? Why do the Virgos have to deal with so much BS? What should Virgo know about this new person? Why? Why? Or <laughs> I'm still thinking, why does Virgo have to deal with so much BS? Le Magician. So it could be some sort of manipulation. So just be cautious, Virgos, okay? If you're manifesting, the first person to pop up might not be what you've manifested, of course, because things work in divine timing, not in our own timing. So if you do meet somebody new, just remember that, be cautious and use your smarticles. You know, use the lessons you've already learned to evaluate this person and pay attention to any red flags, any kind of manipulations you see, any repeated patterns, you, you know, red flags, and don't judge somebody completely based on that, but just keep your eyes open. Listen to your intuition. If you need to, grab a personal reading from a spiritualist that you trust. If you watch any tarot readers that you really feel you have confidence in, don't be afraid to go get a reading and see what's up when you meet this new person. But don't put all of your eggs in one basket is what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's close out. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, five of pentacles, followed by the devil. Knight of swords. Mm -hmm. So you, this could be a player, just saying. The, the new person could be a player, but we never know. I'm just saying this is not necessarily the love of your life. It's just somebody new coming your way. So if you want to have fun with it, take your time with it, evaluate the situation and see where it goes. All right. But don't just be like, hi, I'm Virgo. And then be like, let's get married. When are we picking out flower arrangements? Like, no, 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 no. Give yourself time to really let the situation unfold. Let's close out with the rebel deck. Let's see, what does the rebel deck have to say to my Virgos? You are loved, yes. You are loved already, Virgo. You are loved, no matter who comes your way. You're here for a reason, don't fuck it up. This is giving me test energy. So like I was saying, don't just, um, you know, assume this is the one because they're new and shiny. Okay. Then we have, believe what you see, face reality or live in fucking La La Land. Choose bravely. And so that says to me, um, look out for those red flags and when you see them don't just dismiss them okay is there anything else from the rebel deck for my Virgos step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second kale and spirulina taste like ass eat some yummy shit bacon chocolate beer get some I had to break my diet today I'm not even on a diet but I try to eat clean most of the time you know, I went and got me a chocolate shake today and I just ordered chicken katsu with my sashimi, okay? So it's not just the sashimi. I'm about to I'm about to throw down on that delicious Japanese food. And I hope you guys put some yummy food in your belly too. But that's what I have for you, Virgo, okay? I really do hope you enjoyed your birthday season and had a beautiful day and that you haven't let anyone bring you down. And I hope that this reading is helpful as you go forward for the rest of September. See y'all soon. Bye. Thank you.